Hey guys, Fred here, VE3FAL, Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter and Outdoors. Uh, Sunday, October the 6th today. Just want to show you guys uh, a little bit about with what I'm operating with here uh, in Thunder Bay. Absolutely nothing fancy, nothing elaborate by any means. Um, you're looking right now at a homebrew three element tri band Yagi for 10, 15, and 20 up on the tower. Uh, this antenna is my homebrew 6 meter 3 element beam uh, for 6 meters, of course. If you look up here on the roof, we have the 2 and 440 um, vertical. Alright, you guys can see that. Of course, up on the roof, I also have my Davis weather station. Um, up here, we have um, that's just for 11 meters uh, that I use for receiving and that little white antenna that you see right here That is for my flight radar 24 receiver that uh, flight tracks and sends it to the internet uh, Just up on the roof here is my 6 meter uh, vertical that is currently down Now for a wire antenna, I am running the Durham it's called the Derwin 80 uh, that Durham Radio used to produce. Um, they used to produce this antenna. It is a Wyndham antenna. It requires no tuner uh, from 80 through 10 on the original ham bands. Uh, work bands do require a tuner. All right. And um, this antenna goes all the way down, okay, to that pole just down here at the other end of the property that you guys can see down there. Okay, so that's one leg, and that's the long leg, and the shorter leg goes over to here, over the roof, okay, so that's a shorter leg. Now, uh, what you can't see currently, let me see if I can get back somewhere here, uh, the other antenna that you can't see is a fan dipole. That I made. Try to find it here for you guys so you can see. All right, I'll go to the other side of the house here. Yeah, I'm on the other side of the house. <coughs> so this is at our store property, by the way. All right, it's right there. Alright, that is for 20 and 40. So that's a fan dipole that you guys can see there up on the roof. So I use that for 20 and 40. Alright, just another look here from this side. So what I'm going to do is I am also going to uh, put my analyzer on the Derwin 80 for you guys so that you can see how it tunes uh, without a tuner. All right. Now this is on the, in our property here where we have our store uh, out on rural area or well, semi-rural area of Thunder Bay. All right. So what I also have though is I have a uh, rotatable dipole that I was planning to put up before winter came, but I have so many projects I have to work on. I have to work on my snowplow, my plow for the quad, a lot of stuff to get ready here for winter time. Uh, that I was planning to put up here at the very top and it's a rotatable dipole uh, 40 through uh, is it 6 or 40 through 10 as well um, and that was going to go at the top of the tower so I just want to show you guys quickly uh, what I'm running here at VE3 FAL and my main stream antenna though believe it or not is the Derwin 80 that came from Durham Radio and uh, that antenna has not failed me at all it has been a die-hard antenna. The only issues I've had is we've had ice storms, uh, the ropes have just deteriorated in the sun, and that's really um, about it. So thanks for watching guys, and on this video I will definitely add the portion with the uh, antenna, antenna analyzer uh, showing you guys uh, where this Derwin 80 tunes up. So I'll add that on here. So I'll catch up with you guys. Okay guys, so as promised, here is the SWR 
uh, using my AA170 Reg Expert Analyzer. Uh, looking at the Derwin 80, uh, right now I have programmed in here 80 uh, through 10 meters. Uh, the only band that we see that is a little high is 15 meters, which is uh, sitting at a 4.4. Um, but um, 80 meters um, is sitting at a 1.7. Uh, 40 meters is at a 1.5. 20 meters is at a 1.3. Um, 15 meters, as I said, is about a 4.4. And 10 meters at 28400 is 1.5. So what I'll do now is I'll just tune these down to the lower portion of each band um, for CW, and I'll show you what it looks like there. All right. So I just set it for the lowest ends of the bands uh, at the very bottom of the um, CW portions or the start of the bands. So if we look at uh, 3.5 megs, we're sitting at 1.9, um, 7 megs, 1.8, 14 megs, 1.6, uh, 21 megs, 4.4, and 10 meters, a 2.1. So the antenna is definitely cut for the middle of the band, uh, closer to the phone portions. Uh, however, it still works uh, pretty awesome uh, on the radios without a tuner. I've had no issues. I don't use a tuner here. Um, you know, especially on the G1M, I haven't got a tuner in line. Uh, the G90 has a built-in tuner, uh, but for the better part, I just uh, use the antenna as is. And like I say, I've, I've had very little uh, issues with it. So that's a look at the Derwin 80 uh, Wyndham from Durham Radio. Uh, of course, Durham Radio is no longer um, um, a, a store anymore. Um, they're no longer in business. Uh, but that was one of the radios that they used to, or one of the antennas that they used to make. Uh, and sell. So thanks for watching. This is Fred VE3FL, Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter and Outdoors. Seven three guys.